This last structural tutorial will show how to start adding connection elements for your structure. Connection elements can be 2D and 3D detail items, and oftentimes we have to figure out the right view in order to place them properly. I'm going to start with my level 2, and I'm going to go to Annotate, the Detail Component, and I know I need to add elements for the detail component because the elements that are here now are not the elements that I need. So I go to Load Family and then I go out to US Imperial Detail Items and then I would want to look in certain areas like perhaps Steel which would be Metals and I have different options here Structural steel framing, steel joist framing, steel decking, all different types of things. And they may not have the elements that I need, but they may have them. Here we can see things in different directions, which is going to tell us where we can place it, whether we place it in a floor plan detail, in a section, things like that. So what I'm looking for is an angle bolted connection, which doesn't seem to be in the detail components. So I'm going to hit cancel and I'm going to get out of the detail components and I'm just going to go back to the architecture component. Sometimes they're architectural components instead of detail components even though they will show up when you do a detail. So now I'm going to go to load family and I'm going to go back to my library and I'm going to go back to structure and I'm going to go look at structural connections. You notice there are fewer structural connections, no concrete because Sitecast Concrete connects by the concrete itself or with the rebar that's tied together within the concrete. So we only have mounting parts, precast, and steel. I'm working with steel, so I'll go in that connection section and I will start looking at these. I have a column base plate with anchors, which could be helpful for my slab on grade. And it has different options. I have different angle connections with bolts and with welds. I have different gusset plates and sometimes if they're not here I might even need to search those on BIM Object, Revit City, or different manufacturers websites. I'm going to go with the double angle bolt weld connection and I'm going to open that up. You notice when I bring this in Revit just tells me in the lower left hand corner click a place Tick, click to place a free instance, meaning it doesn't have to be hosted and I can use the spacebar to rotate it. So let's look here at the connection of this beam to this column. I want to rotate it and put it on the face of that and I can rotate it again and put it on the face here. Now I'm not sure if I place it properly. If I click on it and look at the properties, it says my level is level 2. So if I go to the 3D, I can't actually see it in 3D. However, it's a little larger than what I need. So I can actually go and I can see if I can change it to size there, but I can't. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit Edit Type and duplicate it. You notice the name of it is based on the designation. So L for angle, 4 and 3 by 5 are the sizes of the side over 16. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep it as it is and call it number two. But one of the important things is I can change the number of bolts, which will actually make it smaller. So I'm going to change the number of bolts to four and see what happens. And that actually fits a little bit better. And I can actually zoom around it because I have it highlighted by clicking on the shift button and the scroll wheel. So four is still not quite small enough. So I can edit type again duplicate it one more time and I'll call this three instead of two because it's the third option and I'll change the number of bolts to three and that works better and you notice if I use my arrow keys I can move it in different directions but I can't move it up and down so that's what my offset from host would be and I can try playing with that a little bit and it does move it down but one inch is not quite enough so I'm going to try moving it down two inches and this is something where now if I have a wall section in that area then I will actually see that information and I won't have to add it as a 2D detail component 
or anything else later. I would want to make the same changes on the other side. And that way, if I cut a section there, I can actually see it. So if I go back to my level 2, and I cut a wall section there by going to the View tab, Section, and just cutting a section right there and making sure that I'm facing the correct direction. And then if I go look at that section and make sure I change my view from coarse to fine, I can actually see these elements that I put in. And now I don't have to draw them with detail lines and I don't have to add them with a 2D detail component. So this is how adding structural connections that are three-dimensional can help you with your detailing.